Hello, Shwen. This question is asking match let's first with the second. In the first, we are provided with some reactions, and second, some process are given here. First of all, sulfur dioxide is going to oxidize into sulfur trioxide. Shwen, this is the reaction of tropospheric pollution. Okay, so we can say that A is matching with the fourth option. A4. Oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide is the tropospheric pollution. Next, HOCl, hypochlorous acid, is giving us free radical in the sunlight. This is happening in the ozone depletion. In the topic ozone depletion. So we can say that third and B are matching here. So B3 is the perfect option. And you can see that A4 is the only option. Second option is going to be your perfect. Based on the first, you are getting here the answer. So B is matching with the third. This is the reaction of ozone layer depletion. Next, calcium carbonate. This is the limestone. Okay, so Taj Mahal, very famous monument of India plays in the Agra is made of calcium carbonate because of acid rain and here we are getting the sulfuric acid so we are getting now the calcium sulfate water and the co2 this is the reaction of acid rain because of acid rain shine of this monument made of calcium carbonate is tarnishing day by day okay so c is a Reaction of acid rain. C1. C1. C1 is the perfect option here. Next, NO2, nitrogen dioxide, is dividing into NO, nitric oxide, and the nascent oxygen. Ishwin, this is the reaction of smog. A smoke and fog. And which smoke? This is the photochemical smog happening in which sunlight. Sunlight. So we can say that for D, second option is going to be perfect here. Of course, this is given here. So second option is going to be your final and the perfect answer. Thank you. Hello, dear students. So our question is match list first with the least second. Okay. Student, first of all, you can see the benzene will react to the CuHCl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, CuCl. So basically here, formation of benzyl diide will take place. And this is a named reaction, student. This reaction is known as Gartermann Koch reaction. So it is matched with the two. Okay. Now into the next reaction, we have this methyl keto group, and this methyl keto group will react with the NaOx. So basically here straight compound which is contain the methyl ketone group and if it will react to the NaOx then what happen? Halofoam reaction will be proceed and into the halofoam reaction the halofoam this methyl group will converted into the precipitate of halofoam CHX3 okay and this keto group will oxidize into the acid. So this reaction is known as halofoam reaction it is matched with the third. Now, strain next you can see we have alcohol, it will react to the acid in presence of acidic medium. So, basically, here what happened when alcohol will react to the acid, then here esterification reaction will take place, formation of ester will take place. So, basically, here what happened this water molecule will leave and we will get the ester R dish C double bond O. OCH2R. Esterification reaction will take place. It is matched with the fourth. Now, string you can see we have this carboxylic acid. It will react to the X2 in presence of red phosphorus and here H2O. So, this is known as alpha halogenation of acid. Here, alpha halogenation of acid will take place. Alpha this is the alpha carbon and one hydrogen from the alpha carbon is replaced is replaced by the halogen this is known as alpha halogenation reaction and this is a name reaction this name reaction is known as hvz reaction and the full form of hvz is halvol hart jelinski reaction so it is matched with the first you can see that there is only one option in that in that option a is matched with the second so only option 3 is the correct answer Thank you. Hello, dear students. So our next question is the intermediate compound X in the following chemical reaction is okay. You can see we have this toluene and it will react to the CrO2Cl2 in presence of known polar solvent CH2. And finally, here this benzyl diet formation will take place. 
This reaction is known as Itard reaction, guys. This is a name reaction strength and this is known as Itard reaction. In this Itard reaction, a complex intermediate will form as a X, right? And this is a complex intermediate here. This is pH here and then here, this is CH, then OCR, OCR, OH, Cl. Two hole twice. This is a chromium complex. Okay, so into the Itard reaction, this chromium complex is formed as an intermediate of the reaction and followed by hydrolysis. We will get here this benzyl diide. Okay, now so you can see that option four is the correct answer. This is the correctly matched with our chromium complex. Option four is the correct answer. Thank you. Hello, Shwen. This question is asking which of the following molecule is non-polar in nature? It means dipole moment equals to zero that will be non polar first of all ch2o so you can see that carbon hydrogen one hydrogen two double bond o central atom is bonded with the different atoms so here the dipole moment not equals to zero this is a polar molecule clear similarly no2 structure is what the band double bond o coordinate bond o okay one unpaired electron is present so here the angle is of 134 degree structure is bent because of that we can say that uh, this is going to be what the polar is pocl3 this is also polar central atom is bonded with the different atom clear so all of these are polar but sbcl5 this is showing here the sp3d hybridization clear so we can say that uh, stbm is the central atom okay surrounded with uh, surrounded by the five chlorine atom like pcl5 molecule so this will show you the symmetrical structure so we can say that this will show here the dipole moment equals to zero it means this is the only species which is non-polar and this is asked in the question. Second option is perfect. Yeah, thank you. Hello dear students. So our question is consider the above reaction and identify the missing reagent or chemical. Okay. So basically you can see this is the alkyl uh, carboxylate ion. This is the sodium al uh, carboxylate and it will treat it with the NOH in presence of this missing reagent in presence of heat. So we will get here this ethane and Na2CO3 will leave. So which reason is missing here? Okay. So you can see this is our compound CH3, CH2, C double bond O, O minus Na plus. This is the sodium carboxylate. Okay. Alkyl carboxylate. When this compound is heated in presence of NOH. Okay. And with the missing reason, then what happened here? You can see that this CO2 molecule will leave this co2 molecule will leave and here we will get the ethane so basically here what happened decarboxylation reaction will take place okay decarboxylation reaction will take place because here the co2 molecule will leave and because this reaction is proceed in presence of this reagent it is no, it will be known as soda soda lime decarboxylation this reaction is known as strength soda lime decarboxylation reaction Okay, so basically here is strain, the reason will be our soda lime reason and the soda lime reason is NaOH plus CaO. Okay, this NaOH plus CaO is known as soda lime reason and in presence of this soda lime reason here, soda lime decarboxylation reaction will be happened and what happened into the soda lime decarboxylation, CO2 molecule will leave and we will get the ethane as a final major product of the reaction. So basically here missing reason is calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is the missing reason in the above reaction. So option two is the correct answer. Thank you. Hello Shwen, this question is asking in which of the following arrangement the given sequence is not strictly according to the properties indicated against it. It means we are supposed to find here the incorrect match. Clear? First of all, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium. Shwen, these are belonging to common group oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and the polonium. Okay, these are both the 16 group elements, chalcogens. So here we are having the hydride, 
here we are having hydride okay while moving top to down we can say that electronegativity of central atom will what decrease electronegativity of central atom will decrease so here oxygen hydrogen bond is strongest because of uh, highly electronegative nature of oxygen so here you can say that OH bond is what the strongest so here it will release H plus with difficulty while moving top to down we can say that releasing capacity of H plus ion it means acidic nature will increase top to down acidic nature will increase top to down so here we can say that uh, acidic nature is what increasing it means Ka value will increase but there is inverse relation between the K and the PK so PK will what decrease while moving top to down pk will decrease it means maximum pk value will be shown by maximum pk a value will be shown by water molecule but here the minimum is represented so we can say that this property is saying that this is the incorrect match and according to the amount of question we can say that first option is your correct answer in which incorrect match is given okay next Ammonia, phosphine, arsen, histamine. So here we are having nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. This is the 15 group, and same will be happen here. These are also hydride of 15 group. Clear. So while moving top to down, we can say that acidic nature will increase. Nitrogen is highly electronegative, so NH bond is strongest. It will release H plus with difficulty while moving top to down. Capacity to release H plus ion with ease will be increased. Okay, so this is the perfect order of increasing acidic character while moving top to down. This is the correct order. We want incorrect. Next, carbon, silicon, uh, tin, and the lead. These are given here in the plus four form, and you know that uh, there is one property: inert pair effect. Because of inert pair effect, lower oxidation state become stable while moving top to down in a group. This is the group, 14 group element. So we can say that lead is having tendency to convert from plus 4 to plus 2 state while moving top to down. It means 4 to 2, there is reduction of lead. This will show here what oxidizing property. So while moving top to down, Oxide will show here the increasing oxidizing power. So this is the perfect order, but we want what? Incorrect. So this is not your answer. Next, HF, HCl, HBr, HI. It's the same kind of hydride are given here, but belonging to different group. These hydride are belonging to 17 group. Chalcogen, 17 group, halogen, halogen. Chalcogens are 16 group, okay? So we can say that here, acidic strength, same will happen here while moving top to down acidic strength will increase why because fluorine is highly electronegative it will release h plus with difficulty while moving top to down it will release here the h plus with ease acidic nature will increase here this is the perfect order we want incorrect only incorrect option is option first this is your answer thank you hello shwen this question is asking from the following pair of the ion, which one is not an isoelectronic pair? It means number of electrons should not be same here. As far as Na plus and Mg plus 2 are concerned, both of these are having 10 electrons. These are isoelectronic. Next, oxide and the fluoride, both of these are having the 10 electron. These are isoelectronic. Okay, next, check here the iron and the magnesium. Two consecutive element magnesium 25 and the iron at 26 so the configuration is argon 4s2 3d5 okay next we are having here the argon 4s2 and 3d6 if same charge is there these cannot be isoelectronic in case of different charge have a look mn plus 2 so in case of Mn plus 2, we are having here what D5 configuration. Next, iron. In case of ferric state, three electron will be removed. Two from here, one from there. So now these are isoelectronic. Magnes plus 2 and the iron plus 3. These are isoelectronic, but we want not an isoelectronic pair. That is what the ferrous and the magnes. Why? Because here, 
it will show D5, while this will show here the D6 configuration. So third option is going to be your answer. Thank you. Hello dear students, so our next question is the recent R in the given sequence of chemical reaction is, okay. Uh, you can see student, first of all we have this compound 246 tribromoaniline and this compound will react with the NaNO2 HCl at this temperature 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, okay. So basically here student what happened, this NH2 group will convert it into the benzene diazonium chloride salt. Now this compound will react to the R resin and what happened, this N2 gas will leave and here hydrogen will come, okay. So basically the R reason should be that will release the N2 gas. So this reason can be H3PO2, this reason can be this H3PO2 or it can be this C2H5OH that means ethanol. Okay. When benzene diazonium chloride salt will react, will heat it, will heat it in presence of H3PO2 acid with this acid and it will heat it in presence of this alcohol then what happened this N2 gas will leave and it will convert it into the benzene okay now so you can see that into the option only alcohol is given H3PO2 is not given that's why our correct answer is first answer alcohol if this compound uh, if this compound will react to the HI then here what happened this N2 will leave and iodine will come if it will lead to the CUCN in presence of KCN, then N2 will leave, CN will come. Okay, it will lead to the water, then N2 will leave and OH will come. But when this compound, benzene diazonium chloride salt, is heated with alcohol, then N2 will leave and hydrogen will come. So basically, option 1 is the correct answer. Thank you. Hello, Shwen. This question is asking match list first with the list second. Okay, first is having some... Uh, complex species while the second is having here the spin only magnetic moment and you can say that uh, this is given in the Bohr magneton okay so have a look first of all we are having here the ferric uh, Fe plus 3 and the configuration is saying that uh, this is having the D5 configuration cyanido is strong Fe ligand so we can have here the configuration like this T2G 5 and the EG will be what the 0 so only one unpaired electron is present here because of that it will show here the 1.73 Bohr magneton so we can say A is matching with what the fourth A4 A second A1 A4 two options are there next Fe again present in the plus 3 state okay D5 is the configuration but right now we are having here the weak field again so all the electron will be unpaired all the electron will be unpaired five electrons are unpaired d5 is the configuration so here we'll be having 5.92 bohr magneton okay so we can say that b is matching with the first b1 is your answer it means third option is going to be correct here b second is the wrong option let's check other also here fe is present in a plus two state so in plus three state it is showing here the d5 configuration but fe in the plus two state d6 is the configuration clear now a strong field again is present here so in case of a strong field again it will be having here the t2g6 while easy zero configuration all the electrons are paired here so we can say that unpaired electron equals to zero magnetic moment is what the zero so c is matching with the second c second we are going in a correct way of course d third is going to be your answer but let's check it so fe plus two again we are having here the d6 configuration okay but this time we are having the water it means weak field ligand so our usual configuration will be there one two three four five six four unpaired electron are there because of that we are having here the value of magnetic moment 4.90 so d is matching with what the second d is matching with what the third this is the first second and the third third and this is the fourth so we can say that third option is going to be your final answer thank you well students let's have a look at the question and the question says the correct option for the value of vapor pressure of a solution at 45 degrees Celsius with benzene to obtain in a mole ratio of 3 is to 2 students this is actually 3 is to 2 all right so the mole ratio of benzene to obtain is given to us 
so at 45 degree celsius the vapor pressure of the pure or benzene is 280 mm of hg well we need to consider it to be pure so we have been given uh, p not of benzene it is given to us as 280 and for octane the p not for octane is given to us as 420 mm of hg so we need to identify the vapor pressure of the solution now see students it is actually a very simple concept directly from the rol so we can just say that pt is equals to p not a x a plus p not b x b i am considering uh, a as i am just considering a as benzene and b as octane students directly i am just considering this so now first of all in the first place we need to calculate the mole fraction we need to calculate the mole fraction so xa will be equals to na over na plus nb this will be the case okay so we have been given the ratio of mole well i have just considered a as benzene so this will be let me just write it over here we are having na by nb is equals to 3 by 2 so the total moles comes out to be 5 directly we can just write that it comes out to be 5 so this will be xa will be equals to uh, this will be 3 by 3 plus 2 so this will be 3 by 5 and xb will be equals to 2 by 5 because sum of all mole fraction is unity directly we can just say that so this will be pt is equals to p not a p not a is what this is 280 okay into wait a second okay so this will be p 200 and 80 into well uh, x a is 3 by 5 It is three by five plus four hundred and twenty into two by five. Well, let's just cancel it out. This will be twenty-five. So this will be five three thirty, and this will be fifty-six. This will be eight and twenty. It will be eighty-four. So this comes out to be fifty-six into three plus eighty-four into two. Well, fifty-six into three, six three is a eighteen, and five three is a fifteen. This will be one hundred and sixteen, one uh, hundred and sixty-eight. Uh, this will be eight, eight two is a sixteen, one hundred and sixty-eight, eight eight sixteen, six six twelve. So this will be three, and this will be three, three hundred and thirty-six mm of Hg. So the correct answer is clearly option number two for this. I hope you understood it. Thank you. Well, students, let's have a look at the question. And the question says, the slope of a Arrhenius plot, ln k versus one by t of a first-order reaction is minus five times ten to the power of three Kelvin. The value of activation energy of the reaction is. Choose the correct option for your answer. A very basic question, directly asked from the chemical kinetics in NEET 2021 students. Well. Uh, we have we all know that the arrhenius equation is k equals to a e to the power of minus e a by r t we all know this well if i just take ln or ln both sides this will be ln k equals ln a minus e a by r t now just have a look at it if i just plot the variation of ln k versus 1 by t well i'm plotting ln k on the y axis and 1 by t on x axis so this will be what this will be slope a negative value and this will be intercept for us so we are having y equals mx plus c type in which the slope is coming out to be a negative value students the slope is coming out to be a negative value so directly we can just give the answer out of it well uh, in this according to the equation that we are having the equation says that minus e a upon r equals minus well the uh, slope is already given to us it is minus 5 times 10 to the power of 3 minus 5 times 10 to the power of 3 so what will be the activation energy this is the question well negative negative gets cancelled out a pretty simple question students r is already given to us this will be 8.314 times 5 into 10 to the power of 3 this will be joule per 
mole students well you all know that 8 fives are 40 so answer should be somewhat around 40 only and the uh, this will be 40,000 joule so if I just convert it into kilo joule so this will be uh, 8.314 into 5 kilo joule per mole divided by 1000 well 8 fives are 40 so answer should be somewhat around 40 only we are only having one option in which the answer says to be 40 so this will be 41.5 if you just solve this the answer comes out to be 41.5 kilojoule per mole in fact so just have a look at the options if the options are far apart you can just use the uh, basic approximations over there and the first uh, the correct answer for this is option number four and i hope you understood it thank you well students let's have a look at the question and the question says for irreversible expansion of ideal gas under isothermal condition the correct option is now see students ideal gas under isothermal condition means the value of delta u and delta h will be zero for this well the options which says that delta u is not zero won't be the answer so these two options won't be the answer now see students we are having expansion over here if the gas is getting expanded that means the overall entropy is getting increased so if the overall getting is increased that means the total entropy will be greater than zero or we can just say that it won't be equal to zero it will be greater than zero right the option two says that it is uh, not equals to zero yeah actually it is not equals to zero and the fourth option says that delta s total is equals to zero it won't be the correct answer it won't be the correct answer students so the correct answer for this goes to be option number two and i hope you understood it thank you well students let's have a look in the question and the question says choose the correct option for the total pressure in atmosphere in a mixture of four gram oxygen two grams hydrogen confined in a total volume of 1 liter at 0 degree Celsius. Well, a pretty simple question. Students, we all know that ideal gas equation says that PV equals nRT. Well, in this particular case, we are having two gases. So, just add up the moles. That will be the number of moles and get the pressure out of it. The volume is given 1 liter. Temperature is already provided and the value of R is also given to it. it makes the question very simple. But, again the calculation is hard okay let's have a look at the question pressure is needs to be known volume is 1 liter moles well moles for oxygen this will be 4 divided by 32 plus 2 divided by 2 into 0 0.08 2 times 273 Kelvin well now see students the actual answer that we will be getting for this particular part, it will be 25.18 atm or atmosphere. This will be the actual answer that we will be getting. Now, I won't recommend you all guys to use the approximate method for this. If you use the approximate method, you can eliminate these two options. But these two options are very close to each other. So, you cannot do an approximate calculation and, the get, uh, and get the answer out of it, right? Just do the correct calculation and get the answer. For this, the correct answer goes to be option number 2. And I hope you understood it. Thank you. Hello, dear students. Our next question is, the product formed in the following chemical reaction is, okay, this is our reactant and this reactant will react to the sodium borohydride followed by C2H5OH followed by alkalysis, okay. Student, so basically, sodium borohydride is a reducing acid, okay. So, it is used for the reduction of the compounds. But you can see that here we have a two groups, ester group and the carbonyl group, okay. But we know that carbonyl group, this sodium borohydride can reduce the carbonyl group, C double bond O group, carbonyl group into the alcohol. Okay. But this sodium borohydride cannot reduce this ester group. Okay. This sodium borohydride will not react to the ester, but it will react to the carbonyl and it will reduce the carbonyl into the alcohol. So basically, here what happened? We will get a compound like this here, CH3, in which this carbonyl will reduce into the alcohol and this ester group will remain the same this is the major product of the reaction and you can see that option 3 is the correct answer here ester group will not reduce and carbonyl will reduce into the alcohol so option 3 is the major product of this reaction thank you 
well students let's have a look at the question and the question says the molar conductivity of 0.007 molar acetic acid is 20 s centimeter square mole inverse students what is the dissociation constant of acetic acid we have been asked about the dissociation constant well actually students the dissociation constant for acetic acid will be written as k equals c alpha square over 1 minus alpha let's have a look and see whether we can eliminate 1 minus alpha or not because alpha can be eliminated only or neglected only when it is very 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 less or it is less as compared to one in that particular case we can just say that uh, let us uh, eliminate alpha but let's have a look so first of all we need to calculate alpha for this okay well for this alpha can be written as we have been given molar conductivity and lambda not of ch3co minus and h plus is already given to us so alpha will be lambda m upon lambda not m well lambda m is already given to us it is 20 divided by well lambda not of ch3cooh will be lambda not of ch3co minus and adding lambda not of h plus so this will be 50 plus 300 and 50 students 50 plus 350 makes it 20 divided by 400 and this gets cancelled out and this will be 20 so this will be 1 by 20 or we might just say that it will be 5 into 5 into uh, 10 to the power of minus 2 well it is 5 percent so we can just neglect so just use ka equals C alpha square directly. The concentration is already given to us. It is 0.007 molar. So write it as 7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into alpha. Alpha is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 square. So this will be 7 into 10 to the power of minus 3. 5 square comes out to be how much? It comes out to be 25. It will be 25 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Well. Just have a look at it. This will be uh, K A will be equals to seven into twenty five into ten to the power of minus seven. Well, twenty five into seven will be hundred and seventy five. So this will be one seventy five into ten to the power of minus seven. Okay. So we need to give the answer in a point something format. So this can be written as one point. 75 into 10 to the power of this will be minus 5. 1.75 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So it is clearly visible that the correct answer will be 1.75 into 10 to the power of minus 5 mole per liter. A very basic calculation that was used in this question. And I hope you got it correct. And thank you.